there are so many scams leading to our education system when i came back i was like an absolute newcomer the moment i started out people talked me out of it they were like this world is for men criminal law i've set up a support group for people going through divorce for us it has been a, a you know trial by fire uh, by media how can we work for a younger woman in the profession Welcome to Her Circle Standpoint. Her Circle Standpoint is a thought-provoking roundtable discussion that aims to amplify voices and inspire collective action towards building a more inclusive society. Did you know that out of 15 states in India, there are only 15% practicing lawyers in our country as per the Bar Association of India. It's a minuscule number, it's a sad number. However out of that number of women lawyers there are so many luminaries out there who are making a mark for themselves fighting cases fighting for equality and justice today's discussion is going to center around women lawyers in india their challenges their wins their triumphs i'm going to start with you ravina when you chose to do a movie like patna shukla what was the thought process behind it there are three things that made me go for a film like patna shukla one definitely was the scam that i had honestly never heard of and the fact that our youth our new generation the young generation which is going to shape the future of our country which we are all promoting a strong educated young india is going through this crisis and nobody's really talking about it it's not headline news this is not only the story of students of whose lives have been stolen from them but it's also the story of a common man who probably he or she uses her entire life's earnings to give their children the kind of education mm. that they think mm. that we should have which we all promote yeah. and advocate right. for and that they are cheated upon by these corrupt greedy scams that happen around i started doing my research and i found out that there are so many scams leading to our education system. system there's the scholarship fake scholarship scams yeah. there's the admission scams there's the fake mark sheet scams there's the roll number change mm -hmm. scams there is uh, admission scams there's scholarship scams there are even fake university scams mm -hmm. secondly yes of course touching a little upon the patriarchal system somewhere along the line but we did not want to miss out the challenges that women face at their mm -hmm. workplace third of course that i'd never played the role of a lawyer before which is something i've really looked on upon my family does come from a line of lawyers my dada was a high court judge shri amarnath tandon um in uh, madhya pradesh and in uh, up my uh, taya ji was in fact very famously one of the uh, uh, leading prosecutors uh, during the entire chambal decoy mm. case my son uh giving his 10th board is now looking for a future in law i'm now going to move on to you mrinalini um we all know that you have been practicing law for a while and you have won many cases for your celebrity clients to regular clients etc however there was a period where you had taken a break as a mother to take care of your two children and uh, then you rejoined the workspace and it was a transition for you I'd love to know how that worked out panned out when I was expecting my first child I was very clear in my mind and this is my decision that I have to devote myself to the child and then after 4 years my daughter was born so I have taken a break for nearly 15 years and in those 15 years I sort of uh, sort of empowered myself by doing my masters in law I started teaching law to be mm -hmm. in touch wow. with the subject mm -hmm. but I obviously couldn't go to a court and argue because I had mm -hmm. children coming back then what time are they coming what time is the school bus coming I didn't There want to go. have all that when I came back I was like a absolute newcomer yeah. I mean I didn't even know how to draft an application yeah. mm -hmm. and there was a court staff who I was to ask how do I do this they would tell me then I would mm -hmm. go and give it to the court but that's the way you start and probably yeah. I worked hard on it and that's how I got it here. But no regrets that I've taken. Maybe I missed out few opportunities in those 15 years. Uh but no, no regrets at all, at all. Sana you're one of the most sought sought after criminal lawyers uh, mm. in the country today. As a woman practicing criminal law in India though, I'd like to know what are some of the unique challenges you may have encountered. At the moment I started out people talked me out of it. They were like you are a girl and you know you definitely join a corporate sector. This is not for you. 
but i was very determined and that determination and passion within me to actually break that barrier and you know to carve my own niche in this profession is what brought me here challenges and risk are high in criminal law because for me to be, to be honest i had i have encountered situations where i have been where i got threat calls how did you deal with that and what is something that you would tell youngsters to encourage them for me you all are the true life heroes with each case you are enriched with a with a, with experience, experience with different experience and for you know i'm i feel so blessed to be part of this this profession touch wood because mm. you're learning every day the media trials i would say the for media example, trials example for, for example there is this case where this woman was declared guilty even before she was even uh, i mean mm. even before her trial had begun begun because she was she was allegedly uh, allegation against her is such that she has killed her own daughter You know, Tanya. Actually, this is the thing: media trials and and mm. the effect it has in the lives of, like she said, probably her client was a celebrity, and a lot of us celebrities. Yeah. I think that's where Priyanka comes in, probably. Yeah. You know, is to fight that battle for us. Yes. The trial before you you've already the judgment has been passed mm. by the media, which has influenced the audiences and the public. Mm. Because the more the scandal is the headline, the more the T R P is for them. Mm-hmm. My daughter had gone to a, a, a place where uh, an enclosure. She works a lot with wildlife, where there was normal public stoning uh, an animal that was caged. And she took a video and she put it out and she told me, "Mama, see tweet about this." I said, "Yeah, it's something that mm-hmm. we need to increase the security." So I praised the authorities, and I did tell them that you know, though such amazing work is being done, but unfortunately. there has been some stone pelting where i feel now in our zoos or first of all i don't believe that there should be zoos mm-hmm. there should be mm-hmm. just wildlife safaris next day i went for a safari in one of their reserves which was a very normal safari where you go to yeah. ranthambore mm-hmm. or go anywhere mm-hmm. in the world the tigers are walking across your jeep mm-hmm. or they are crossing and that time you're just supposed to be still mm-hmm. so we were still and that video was an amazing experience and i put it out and all the press praised it oh she had a wonderful experience in that mm-hmm. reserve and all cut to they have put a case on my driver on my oh, forest ride right? <laughs> on right. everyone ke why was why were the jeep so close to the tiger oh we did not God. go close yeah. to the tiger the tiger came the tiger, tiger, tiger came walking <laughs> it became a trial by media oh suddenly the debates were going on this was happening that was wow. happening which with yeah, no incident yeah. because i love wildlife and i am a passionate wildlife photographer along with my daughter and we do so much hmm. that i was happy that the entire wildlife fraternity stood by me You, yeah. I should have called you at that time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. My advice would have probably been exactly what you did: that do nothing. Yeah. Exactly. Right? I feel like there's become there's such a cost to being celebrity. Any sort of celebrity that you enjoy in this country, it comes. It started to come at such a steep cost. Um, the incident that she mentioned, we end up working with a lot of um, comedians. stand up comedy yes. lot of actors filmmakers and i feel there's a whole different level of scrutiny that i've never seen yes. you know maybe 10 years before today our job is to just flag anything and everything that is a right. potential risk because you've chosen entertainment law yeah. um and you know we we read about uh, the interesting cases that you take up um you spoke about that also at length but i do know that you you know you you came from a different setup a, a rather humble background yeah. and then you know you pursued uh, law by passion i'm assuming the, you know fully passionate about what you do how did the journey come about i am completely a lawyer by accident Mm-hmm. I spent almost a decade writing for film and television. This is early days oh, really? before oh, okay. yeah yeah before we had social media. I wrote for a long long time did theater and did all sorts of things while studying biotechnology and li- really it was to to make ends meet. And when I then went to law school and coincidentally one of the writers you probably know also Kiran Kotrial. Of course. So I used to assist Kiran sorry oh this is the part of thing I got for a small world. So I used to Kiran would dictate things in the dictaphone yes, and I started yes. assisting him and this is early days of a lot of uh, reality shows being adapted into India right. so our, his job was to write the celebrity script and he still does that so anyway to cut a long story short uh it was one of those right listen i'm sitting with someone and i think you can help uh and that's how i landed uh, lata mangeshkar as as the first client i feel like we started doing this at a time when there was no real practice in our industry of yeah. celebrities having representation right true, true. so mm-hmm. all and i'm the firm turns 10 years old literally in a few days now so wow. when we started this Everybody would say that, but talent को lawyers की ज़रूरत क्यों है, right? Like, oh, हमारा तो कोई court case नहीं है, we are not in any trouble. 
still I think even producer studios would be very surprised or offended even that yes. why are you yes. negotiating and I think that continues even still today. Even in the 90s today. and the 80s, uh, I'm talking even about my dad's times, there were hmm. no contracts. Hmm. What? There were no A contracts. Yeah. <laughs> so, okay. jo <laughs> So, जो ज़बान से बोल दिया वो लकीर हो बिल्कुल. That was it. We started writing no the contract culture in I guess in 94, 93, yeah. and that too, you know, it came from where? It came wow. from the advertising world. Yeah. Vanda, I met you so many years ago. You were right out of uh, a terrible relationship, an abusive marriage. That's right. And you chose to, I think, fight your own uh, battle at that point and then uh, take up the profession. I restarted my life with 750 rupees in my bank account. and wow. But I always say with a billion dollar worth of dreams. I started studying law just on the brink, you know, and uh, I'm very fortunate to have studied that because if my divorce hadn't happened in my first marriage, I wouldn't have been a lawyer. I've set up a support group for people going through divorce, you mm -hmm. know, so you can enroll in the support group and it's free of charge. We uh, pre-screened Patna Shukla, the film that we're mm -hmm. talking about, which is now releasing on 29th March on Hotstar, Disney plus Hotstar. When I was speaking to all the lady justices there, they had all come to see the film and they'd set it up in the court. Uh, the entire auditorium mm. in Delhi High Court, yes. you have seen what a fantastic yeah. place, yeah. Yeah. what a That's lovely nice. workplace yeah. Yeah. and all the justices were there and, and but the lady justices were very insistent that they said they were about to watch the movie mm -hmm. and this is what they exactly asked me, they said have you shown how we struggle between our right. home, our children and then uh, proving mm. a point which mm. used to be a man's world uh, in a yeah. bazaar, in a sea of all male attorneys I uh, also gave up work mm -hmm. when my kids were born because of the fact that A, I have to face the camera every day and I wanted to enjoy my pregnancy and I wanted to enjoy and be there for my children at every mm -hmm. first step or the first thing that they Absolutely. did. There was a custody matter which was going on in the family court. So there was this little kid, she was a 5 or seven year, 6 years old girl. The court was telling her she was with the mother, that you have to go and spend time with the father. Very absolutely right, that's what the job of the court is because they were in a divorce. Now this girl for some reason didn't want to go to her. The judge told her, no, what is all this? It's not like this, you have to go, he's your, in a nice way, in a little, uh, with authority, mm -hmm. but at the same time, explaining to her, saying, I'm like your grandfather, you have to go and spend time with your father, your mother is always there, nobody's going to take her. And then she's looking at me and she's crying and she said, I don't want to go, no. that was the time I broke down and the judge stopped the proceeding and we were just wondering what happened. Then he said, oh, I'll come back after half an hour. So he called me up and he told me that, listen, you are very young in this profession and you have just started, but you cannot identify with the client. Yes. As a lawyer, you have to remember that you have to be tough. In fact, there is this one case which I would like to speak about. It is this Haryana fake encounter case where I defended, I secured uh, her release. The, there was this young girl who was incarcerated for quite a long time right. and few months prior to, her, prior to her release, she engaged me. So when she was out, I still remember that joyful face, you know, she was so happy, she was like, okay, she was out after six years, though she had wow. engaged me about two, three months prior to her release, but she right. was inside for six years. When she, when she was out, she was so happy, she was like that now she wants to live her life, and she wanted to pursue law. And the case was such that she was trapped, I mean, allegations against her were such that she had laid a honey trap for her gangster boyfriend. <laughs> and just one month, or just few months within her release, she, she was murdered. And while I was handling her, yes, she, she's oh. been murdered. This just happened recently. So recently, Which case. shook, yes, yes. Yeah, which, about that, yeah. yes, that affected me to a large extent. Ravina, you choose movies now and projects now which have a lot of meaning mm -hmm. and message. Um, is that intentional? Uh, yes, intentionally so to pick up topics which are close to my heart, causes that are close to my heart and something that I feel needs to become, a, you know, is, is a conversation that needs to be brought to the table. Uh, today we are talking about students, how their lives are snatched mm. with all these various scams mm. that are there. Those who can afford help, 
and some who end their lives because they cannot afford that kind of help and fight against the system. So that is something which is a conversation we need to have. Sure. These stories are buried in page 3, page 4, page 5 and never make headline mm. news. Correct. So this is the future mm. of a young strong India, educated mm. India that we want to see. Uh, Priyanka, there's uh, just one thing that I want to also yeah. um, congratulate you on. You are a 100% women-led uh, Kimani's <laughs> Associates. Mm. Um, Thank as you. A, Thank so, you. Uh, just to understand the stereotypes or the challenges that you may have faced in setting up something like this. Whenever we interacted, I especially interacted with uh, men in the profession mm -hmm. uh, that were senior to me or even you know my age or my peers, there was this um, resistance that no but how can we work for her? How can we work for a mm -hmm. younger mm -hmm. woman mm -hmm. in the profession? Yeah. The fine thread of the yes. patriarchy mm -hmm. still exists. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of that condition in this profession is yeah. very, very, still very, yeah, very absolutely. patriarchal. But uh, I feel yeah. there's so there wasn't a formula and it wasn't by design. Uh, but of course, that being said, I'm very, very proud that we're uh, so heavily women-led. Even today, I'm headlining films. Mm -hmm. I'm headlining shows. Absolutely. I'm headlining series. I'm doing the kind of work that I want to do. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm still a leading lady, right? Yeah. But my male counterparts from the 90s <laughs> will never be introduced as 90s ka superstar. Mm. No. Yes. Mm. True, true. But the so minute big we one, do is. a TV show yeah. or a show, that is or the introduction. whether it's me, yeah. that's the introduction. 90s ki heartthrob or 90s ki superstar or 90s ki. Hello. Have you forgotten the work that I'm still relevant? Absolutely. I'm still working. So, so I will wrap this up by saying 2024 ki superstar. Uh, superstars. Uh, superstars. <laughs> superstars. Yes, 2024 ki superstars ka. Ek to, there's a project that's coming out. Um, we have to all watch it. And then, of course, the real life heroes also over here. Thank you so, so much for joining this panel. It has been Thank one you. of the Thank most. You interesting ones thank you so much <laughs> thank you. thanks thank very you. much thank, thank you, you. So thank you. Thank you. i love this thank you.